And welcome everyone to a Pac-12 chat. I'm Andy Katz, pleased to be joined by Marcus Sahonis from Washington. And Marcus, you're averaging about a little over nine points a game in the last six games, three assists. Uh, clearly, things have turned in a positive direction in the last week for the Huskies. you got Washington State, the rivalry game this weekend. What has changed for you and this team most recently? Uh, for sure, just the mentality. I mean, I felt like it's come more reality that we're We've been losing games, and we really want to get to March Madness in the in the tournament. So I mean, it's really coming into uh, it's it's more reality that we we have to step it up now. We have to be able to win games and just get more momentum into this Pac-12 tournament. So you came off redshirt when Quadri Green was ineligible. Uh, yeah. What was that conversation like when uh, Pop said basically, "I need you"? Uh. It, it was real simple. It was just, are you ready? It's, it's, I mean, it's next, my, man, next man up. More just, uh, I'm going to have to be able to just come in, just play my game. Don't really think too deep into it. I mean, I got to control the team. It was just more of a, like, uh, I know you're ready type, uh, and it's just next man up, and I'll be able to play. So so how ready were you at the time? For sure. I mean, I, I felt like I've been ready the whole time. So, I mean, when they pulled the uh, red shirt, I just felt like it was my time to step up and uh, just show people that I could play, just being unknown. So you guys have played well for, you could argue, 30-plus minutes. It's been mm -hmm. closing games that has haunted yeah. you guys, whether it's home or road. What's been the difference in the last week in getting that win Saturday that maybe you weren't able to do in the previous games? No, for sure. I mean, every game I felt like we've been up or right there. Uh, so, I mean, it's more about uh, – just keep it on the whole time, not letting the uh, foot off the gas. Uh, uh, we kind of sometimes in those games went away from what we've been doing to get in the leagues. So when I felt like in that California game, we were making our shots, and now it's helping us even more. So we we're making our shots and running our offense, playing defense, not letting their main guys score. That's what we're playing our best. Look, it's crazy. The standings may see you guys are in last, but the talent and what we saw at the beginning of the season, there's no mm -hmm. question if you guys are well, no one's going to want to play you in Las Vegas. So how do you make sure you get some momentum going in the Lex in the last three games to make sure that that is a possibility in Las Vegas? Yeah. No, for sure. Uh, confidence is a big key for us too. So once everybody's wrong and everybody feels like they have the confidence that they're making their shots, playing, playing defense, locking down, uh, whoever we're guarding. I mean, that's just, that's all it is. I mean, when, when we have confidence, we're the best team in the nation, honestly. So we just have to play our game and, uh, don't overthink. Just really play basketball. How has this locker room stayed together during the losing streak? Uh, I mean, it's a family. It's brothers. I mean, it's tough. Of it's tough for us to be losing, and it's hard. I mean, we know we're right there every game, but I mean, it's just a connection between everybody. I feel like that's keeping us still strong together, and that's that's a huge thing that I feel like uh, that can go a long way. Uh, once we get to the Pac-12 tournament. And, and lastly, Marcus, how much of a sense of relief was there to get that win against Cal? Like, okay, we finally yeah. got one. Now we can move forward. No, for sure. That 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 California game, just the whole environment of us winning and hearing it and seeing it. So I mean, it was it's crazy. So it's I mean, it felt real good being able to get that W. So yeah. Well, Marcus, I gotta ask you one question. I love yeah. your hair. Yeah. Top and bottom. How, how do you manage, you know, the top of your head <laughs> uh, and the beard? I mean, uh, some of the days I kind of just get up and go on my day, go to my workouts. I mess with it, throw a little something in it. But uh, I usually just rock out with it, honestly. <laughs> well, you got it at both ends. I mean, you know. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I kind of grown this out uh, as soon as I got here a little bit. So I, it was small, but been able to get it bigger. So it's good. <laughs> hey, you're your own man. Great identity. Appreciate it, Marcus. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.